What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with some NBA 2K24. They just dropped some gameplay, and I'm here to react to it with you. And we're going to go over some of the new gameplay features that they revealed as well. Look, every year is the same thing. We get tired of the game. We stop playing the game. Then they start hyping it, and we see the new features, and we think it's going to be different. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is. I don't know. This year, it's kind of a toss-up. All I know is this, I'm going to be playing franchise, I'm going to be playing the game in some capacity, but going back to that toxic, ah, I got to rip and, and play every day and, and the grind don't stop. And There's so many other games to play, all right, just relax, calm down a little bit, but let's get hyped at the same time, I don't know, this looks good, this looks promising. So here we have pro play. Now, what this means is that they were able to take footage from real life games and turn them into animations. And you see it immediately. It looks just amazing. The way that they made the game play out with authentic images from real life, real NBA game footage. Translate that into video game creation creating universe i don't know it's just crazy the way that everyone has their signatures and it's not just mocap it's now through real footage and that just means we're gonna have tons and tons of new animations and that is beautiful music to my ears i love every second of this little hype up gameplay video which took them long enough they took forever to release it i didn't like that they showed footage of jimmy butler getting dunked on like that but then right back at him we had jimmy doing his timeout pose and getting his jam in so i was happy with that it was rewarding all right it was rewarding before i got happy i got annoyed and just everyone looks spectacular and this is all for next gen meaning ps5 xbox series x and s we're not going to get this on xbox one ps4 or pc unfortunately this is the future of the franchise and it's only on next gen so i know you guys are pissed off but now that we got that gameplay out the way we're gonna jump into the defense that was a little loud defensive movement has improved on many fronts with better responsiveness and less sliding this helps defenders get where they need to be and with the improved body up system ball handlers will have a tough time getting free against great defenders the improved contact can also be felt in the paint Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body on shooters at the rim and forcing tough Finally! Shots. Finally! The are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand closest to the ball and avoid reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid foul calls. You can also use directional steals to play passing lanes by flicking the right stick in the correct direction. Did it really take you this long? Did it really take you this long? In testing shots, it's important to be patient and wait for the correct time to jump. If you're behind the shooter, Jumping too early, biting on fakes, or closing out late, you'll quickly find yourself racking up fouls and giving up and one opportunities. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, come everything on. about offense, defense, and coaching. Amazing, amazing. So they finally updated the defense to where it sounds. It's, I, I can't say it feels because I haven't played it, but it sounds like it's going to be legit. It sounds like it has real logic right common sense which i feel like the game hasn't really had much of that lately let's be honest game has been streamlined to make nba 2k24 more enjoyable for all we can't wait for you to experience the all right all right all right all right i gotta see this for myself i i really gotta see this for myself straight up straight up because defense for a while hasn't mattered and you get jammed on or scored on and and you feel like you played some solid defense especially with the big men in the paint this year it got a little better with the paint presence but still needed much improvement and i don't know mike wang it, it sounds like they did some some stuff here but i don't know that we always break the game some way somehow and we i mean the online cheese that gets spread around so here we got takeover. Let's see what this takeover is all about. Turns to NBA 2K24, but with a different spin. Instead of assigning a takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose between finishing, shooting, 
playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost, making you a true threat on both ends of the floor. All right, man. So it sounds it sounds even better than it was. Offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we got better takeover, better defense, and now the other video is coaching. <laughs> All right, let's see what they have for us on this one. 2K Smart Play is back, making play calling more accessible for everybody. As you bring the ball up court, an overlay will come up recommending the best. More accessible to everybody. Guys, you know there's like one or two game-breaking plays? You know, you know what I'm talking about. The cheese that everyone stays on. It happens a lot, a lot, way too much on my team. When you play ranked games, you don't see it as often because everyone has their own playbook and shit. But it's like a plague. It's a virus that has spread across the community. Let's play and player for that possession. Tap L1 or the left bumper before crossing half court to run it. And to call your favorite plays, press the directional pad to the left and choose from up to 16 of your preferred actions. You can call anything from full plays to ISOs and give and goes. Okay, okay. Stop showing Jimmy getting jammed on. Stop. So coaching sounds like they tweaked it, but not not a whole lot. I it, Takeover sounds much improved. Defense is probably the key here. Everything else so far, hmm. Shooting and dunking comp online games will be playing with greener miss shot timing for the ultimate challenge. But team control modes will see more forgiving shot timing so you won't have to memorize every single player's release to the exact frame to find success. The shot timing release... All right. All right. Now, in 2023 for 2K24, they have perfected the shooting because last year it was all over the place. Thank you time setting from NBA 2K23 has been converted to a new setting called Shot Timing Visual Cue. Now you can set your desired release point based on whatever animation cue works best for you. This makes it much easier to play with players and teams you're not as familiar with. Advanced layups like floaters, reverses, euros, hop steps, and scoops are much more effective this year. And I'd encourage everyone to try out layup timing. It's much more forgiving for high percentage layups and also gives you the ability to finish tough circus layups in traffic if you can master it. For dunkers in new gen, you can now force rim hangs from any two-hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim. Down on the pro stick will give you flashy dunks and up down or down up double throws will let you attempt contact dunks in traffic with the dunk meter. Meter dunks are greener miss on higher difficulty levels now. I'm not going to lie. I don't like the layups of the meters or the dunks and all that. But the fact that you get to really control how successful you are with it is uh, is is definitely enticing. So you have to be precise to finish off the play. Bigs are going to have a lot of fun dominating in the paint in NBA 2K24. You can now branch out of any offensive rebound to a putback attempt by simply pressing the shot button after the catch. Post fades and hop shots are also really effective shots for post players, and you can definitely feel the impact of strength and weight as bigger players easily dominate weaker ones on the glass. Finally, finally. All right. So it. It really does sound like they were able to capture a lot of the complaints that we've had in previous years and kind of make it to where it's more in control, right? In terms of the game being played through our hands versus leaving it up to the 2K gods. Each mode is definitely going to take some readjustments. My team is a full team mode, right? But you have you know, the 3v3, uh, and you also have the fake cards. And then Park, Rec, Pro-Am, that's mostly just playing you with your boys or your crew. You got to you gotta see how the settings and, and the technique works 
within each mode to to really specialize and that's that's going to be a little tricky at first uh they said that comp online and hall of fame difficulty is really green or miss i like the green or miss stuff you know i remember when nba live first did it i was on board with it i really enjoyed it a lot of people were calling it arcadey but i like the green green or miss uh timing my problem is that this year it just felt very inconsistent and all over the place so if there's one takeaway i can really say here is that it seems like everything has been defined in a in a not just an exciting way but in a more understandable and uh believable way i guess am i excited for the game i'm as excited as i was last year in terms of hopeful to play the game a little more than i did previously and looking forward to checking out how franchise plays out ranked online and and maybe play the park with you guys so if you like nba gaming sports in general subscribe to their channel because i have more coming thank you for tuning in i'll see y'all later at the end of the day 2k is always going to be 2k the virtual currency transactions all that garbage money that you got to put into the game is going to plague it and and the community it's, it's up to the community to make it better that's just what it is but let's see i'm forever hopeful since i love basketball let's see let me know how you feel down below peace